Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel as always on Deluxe. All right, let's do another transfer review. Yeah, just another versus thing. I love doing these. I've been doing the past couple days. And today I got Earthrise Sunstreaker in. So I was like, why don't we join some, why don't we get some friends together? And there's not a lot to choose from. Now I do have the Combiner Wars one. I don't know where it's at. I put up a bunch of my Combiner Wars stuff because I don't really care for the line that much. It's not one of my favorites or anything. So I put it up, don't know where it's at, and didn't want to go looking for it. So I didn't include that one. And I don't include Masterpiece because these are a different scale. Different, you know, these are, you know, the main line stuff and everything. So I don't include Masterpiece in these things. Uh, so, you know, stop asking me. <laughs> I, just, I just don't include them in there because it's a different kind of level, different skill, all that stuff. So today I'll be taking a look at the G1. And I'll be taking a look at the, uh, the Universe, Classics, Chug, whatever you want to call it. And I got the Hinke, the same one, but different color and everything. It's got some chrome, all stuff. And then I got the Earthrise in, like I said. So I'm, I'm excited. I love doing these things. And I, man, come on now. I love some Transformers. Let's go. All right, let's take a look at this stuff. That's what you came for. Yeah. Well, all right, there is Sunstreaker in his alt modes. And you got G1, you got the Universe, Hinke, and Earthrise. All right, let's just take a look at the G1. It looks good. I mean, it's not the best mine. Like I said, mine's, you know, kind of worn out. Stickers really need some new stickers and everything. Uh, die cast in the front. Now, I do got some little chipping here and there. Not too terrible. Got it right here a little bit right there. So, but it's not too bad. And you got the stickers. Like I said, they're pretty bad. I need some new stickers for him. Um, nice translucent uh, windows. This is painted yellow right there. You can tell it's a little more orangish than yellow right there, like the plastic. You got rubber wheels. And they got, you know, chromed out rims. You got some chrome right here for the intakes and everything. And for the spoiler. Now, my spoiler does have a little bit of chipping. Not terrible, but, you know, you can tell it's a... Uh, you know, it's 30 something years old, 35 plus years old, but a little chrome wear on the front and everything. And then it's pretty cool. These uh, tires stick out a little further, kind of more of a, a racing style. Yeah, they're rubber tires. Now, the tires are pretty good. I don't have any cracking or anything like that, so that's pretty good. You got the, uh, you know, the rope sign and everything that works. More, uh, you know, uh, stickers. Like I said, I do need a new set of stickers. You got the back right there, the other side. And then this one here, now this is supposed to snap in a little bit, but not bad. G1, you gotta love it. Imaginations. Hmm. So there you go, G1 Sunstreaker. All right, moving on to the uh, Universe Classic. I'll just tell you, show you the difference in. Now this is a Hasbro one, more yellow, and this is the kind of an orangish. It does have chrome right here, and for the spoiler, and that's about you know the Autobot sign and everything. And so, just about the same, just a little different, just like I said, the color of the plastic and uh, the spoiler and everything. So this is a Hasbro one, like I said. <clears throat> nice, got translucent for the headlights. A little orange right here for uh, some paint right there. Nice uh, uh, blacked out windows. Nice, got some uh, silver for the rims. That's nice, nicely done. I like that. And you got this little spoiler up here. Now that's just plastic. Uh, that is painted right there, the silver, and right there, that is painted, so that's pretty cool. In the back, it's got wear 84, and the, uh, tail lights are also painted a little orangish color right there. Now, I love how they incorporated the weapon right here, but it also acts as, uh, pipes, you know, uh, exhaust pipes and everything, so that's pretty cool. That's, that's a great way to do something. That's really nice. I like that. So, they use that as the weapon and also as the exhaust pipe. Underneath... Yeah, a little bit of roll bits, everything. But and then you got this is painted up here. Now you can tell it's kind of seeping through. You can it's over black plastic, so you kind of see you can go you can see the black coming out and everything. Uh, but that's yellow, like the Autobot symbol looks pretty good. So not bad. It does roll. Oh, the uh, G1 rolls too. Got to do that. But yeah, just rolls just fine. Then we'll take a look at the Hinke. Like I said, it's a different kind of orange. Nice uh, blacked out windows. Once again, translucent right there. Orange paint looks good. Silver for the rims. Got a, got a little something right there. A little cap right there. 
push it together. Now, like I said, this is chromed out and that's paint right there. The spoiler is chromed out as well. Then the back, still the same. Now these are red instead of an orange. That weapon fell out. So, but the last plate still says wear 84 and his weapon is chromed out as well for the exhaust. Well, that's good, that's good. Underneath, the same way, so pretty cool. Yep, very nice, I'll put that over there. And Earthrise, and I love this alt mode, it looks good, so good. Nice silver paint for the headlights, you got some black for the bumper, looks really good. Love this translucent blue right here, it looks beautiful on this car, the yellow, I think it just meshes well. And you got some silver paint and some details underneath as well. Looks good. I like that. Nice all boss symbol. Now this is painted. Now there's two different kinds of yellow. The plastic and then you got this paint right here and the paint back here. And this is over black, black plastic as well. So it's going to we'll show through a little bit. But it is two different kinds of yellow. So you know you can't really, might not be able to tell on the camera. You probably can. But uh, that's kind of a different yellow than what this is. All right, silver on the rims looks really good. Also done. You got the exhaust. This is all painted silver as what silver silver as well. It says silver, and that will come off. You don't have to have that on there, but I do. I think you do have to because it looks good. Everything now on the back. Like I said, this is painted yellow right here, and you can put stuff you want to put weapons or battle masters or anything like that. You can put them right there in the ports. Underneath, got some roll bits. You got the head, but. Not bad. I really love the car mode. It rolls really good. It looks beautiful. I love that blue and yellow. It looks so good. So there you go. Now he doesn't come with a weapon. Now he can use this as a weapon, but it, uh, I'll show you in robot mode. It doesn't really fit in his hand that well. So I'm just going to put it on his back. So he doesn't come with a weapon. So I'm going to have to find him a weapon or something like that. Well, there you go. That is the alt mode for uh, Sunstreaker. Yay. Crapagonics, a bottle of water, some crappy toilet paper. Scale. All right, back from transformation. All right, let's take a look at the G1 first. Now, he does come with uh, another hand, and he comes with two more rockets as well. I had them put up and everything. But you can't also take his shoulder things, which just sits there. I thought they screwed in or something like that. But you can also move these out and you know, move this in like that, and you can replace it, and you can put it in there in the hand if you want to. Kind of looks stupid, but... It is an option, but you know, they, you've always had those little shoulder things. Now, mine, I don't know if mine will shoot. Uh, yeah, <laughs> apparently. Uh, but yeah, if you can try to. Golly. My Sun Shrieker has seen some better days. But if you. Yeah, push that down. And normally, you know, if you have a good G1, it will shoot out to have a lot of spring load action or whatever. But mine doesn't. All right, let's look at the head sculpt. Looks pretty good. Silver paint, yellow paint right there. Yellow eyes, looks good. Now as far as movement, no, nothing for the head. Well, I guess you can go down, my bad. But it covers his face, so I'm not really counting it. Uh, this does like a butterfly thing. Like I said, these things are really loose. I just don't know why they even do it. Um, you can go up and down with the you know, arm, about 90 degrees like that. Nothing for the feet. I mean, nothing for the legs, but you do have a toe tilt down just because of transformation, if you want to give them that. And then you got the back. Mine's very fragile. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful with it. I don't have the greatest G1 stuff. I need to get some more G1 cars and everything and replace my older stuff because uh, they're not as good anymore. But there you go. There's Sunstreaker. Pretty cool. G1. Use your imagination. Oh, yeah, the chrome. Forgot about the chrome and everything. Looks good. So there you go. All right, let's take a look at the Universe one. We'll take a look at the Hinke one. It's going to be the same, so I'll just look at them. Now, I said he does have the chrome weapon, and this thing back here is a little spoiler. Or not spoiler, but his intakes. Now, there is a way you can take this off and fold it around the gun and make it look, you know, a little bigger or whatever. Eh, I'll just leave this back there. I think it looks good like this anyways. So, but there is that option if you want to. So... Really nice head sculpt. He's got the floppy ears. Now the transformation I really like. It's pretty cool. You turn this and it you know hides his head like a turtle. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so that's nice. Beautiful head sculpt. Once again, silver paint. Beautiful blue eyes. Look down a little bit. Look up a little bit as well. Side to side. 
and give it a little add to it as well. And little floppy ears. Let's see, you got the nice chest, a nice Autobot symbol. You got some red paint right here. Now this one you can go up and yeah, just leave that off for a little bit. You can go up and down a little bit. He does have a butterfly as well. 90 degrees for the elbow bend. And you can uh, uh, boss that swivel as well. I don't have it right. I need to have it like that. And then do that. All right. And I didn't have it right. Didn't have the mushroom peg. But anyways, there you go. Uh, more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend. Yeah, you do have a swivel for the hand. And this door thing moves as well. And everything. And move that out like that. Uh, waist swivel. So very good. Nicely done. Got some red and black paint for the crotch right there. I said I love the blacked out uh, window. They got some translucent blue right here for the thighs. Looks good. One thing I don't like about the legs is these. I wish these kind of tabbed in somewhere. So they're kind of a little floppy loppy. But you can see the license plate and everything. Nice chromed out right there. Uh, back. I mean up. Back. Uh, not the full van down. Just about that far. And you do have a little thigh swivel as well. And you got a knee swivel as well. Uh, 90 degrees for the knee bend. Toe tilt down. A little bit up. And a rocker. It's on a ball joint. So that's good. So pretty good on the articulation. And it cleans up really good. I said, just leave this in here like that. You can go in there. There you go. Got a little waffle going on. Some waffle house. Got some silver paint back here. Yeah, just like that. They're on ball joints or anything. These little things right here, but they just don't stick anywhere. So there you go. That is the Hinke. And I'll just show you the, um, I'll show you the Hasbro. I'll just look at the Hasbro real quick. I'm not going to go through everything. Once again, a different yellow, as you can tell. Hopefully, I don't know if you can tell on camera or not, but this is an orange uh, kind of uh, color, and this is a yellow. There you go. And he has no chrome for the weapon or the exhaust thing back there. Same articulation, everything. Once again, these don't tab anywhere. So, pretty cool. So that is the Hasbro Universe Sunstreaker. All right, let's take a look at Earthrise, War for Cybertron Earthrise, and it looks good. I like it. Like I, said, I love that blue and the silver underneath of it. it looks really good. Head sculpt looks good. Now, like I said, I think it looks good back there. I get, you can use this as a weapon, but I'll show you that it really doesn't fit in his hand that well. It's really loose. Like that. So, I mean, I guess you can fit it over here if you want to. It'll fit in that like that if you want to use it as a shield or you know, as a gun or something like that, but eh, I like it back here. I think it looks really good back here, so we will just put it back there. How about that? How about them apples? All right, once again, beautiful head sculpt, silver, blue eyes, really beautiful blue eyes, yellow for the ears and everything. So look down quite a bit like a turtle thing. Ooh, uh, not much up, side to side is a little tight, and he got a little add to it as well. Then you got these little things right here. Now you can put some battle masters or whatever you want, you know, five millimeter ports. Kind of looks like, like, you know, reminisce of the, um, or homage to the uh, G1. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but it does kind of hinder the uh, getting up there. But you can get enough, I think. All the way around. Uh, go up there like that. Now he does have a bicep swivel. He does have some waffle house right there. Uh, 90 degrees for the elbow bend. And you got some five millimeter ports right there on the side as well. So you can put it wherever you want and um, that's about it waist swivel really good all the way around and you do the van dam and kick up kick back thigh swivel or ratchety or whatever tons of waffle house right there then you got the 90 degree for the knee bend toe tilt down not much up and a good rocker you got some nice detail work in there with the black plastic with the yellow and the yellow background Looks really good. And the back cleans up really good as well. And back here, you got some nice blue, uh, translucent blue right here and all that stuff. It looks really nice. I like that. And the silver and that black. Nice and I love the Autobot symbol. It looks really good. Well, there you go. That is Earthrise Sunstreaker. And that's all of the uh, bot modes for them. Yay! Crapagonics, a bottle of water, some crappy toilet paper, and squeaks for even more scale. Look at all that yellow. Golly!
Well, all right, folks, it's pitcher time. Enjoy. Well, all right, I hope you like those pictures. I had a great time taking them as always. So, versus, all right, G1 versus Universe versus Henke versus Earthrise. Love doing these things, man. They're awesome. I think I'm going to start doing these more often than I do. But anyways, G1, it is what it is. Like I said, every time I see G1, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. <laughs> anyway. uh, yeah, you know, it's cool. You know, like I said, you have to use your imagination. Pretty cool. Mine's... Not the best shape in the world. It's not the worst either, but, you know, it could use some new stickers and everything. But overall, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Nostalgia. You got to love it, man. G1. Then you got Hasbro, and you got the uh, Universe and the Hinkei. I like this. I really do. I like the uh, the alt mode. It's really nice. It's, you know, nice little uh, car mode. I like that. Uh, transformation's easy. It's fun. You know, really not too hard and everything. Um, the bot mode looks decent. You know, he's got some big old thighs. You know, he's got the like that and the arms a little wonky a little bit once in a while but not too bad it's not it's not that terrible of a mold i like it i like the paint's pretty good uh the articulation is really good it's got a lot of you know mostly stuff and this is a 10 plus year old uh figure and everything so maybe 10 uh universal around 2000 yeah so around that you know they're around that area and everything so not too bad i really like it i love the uh they incorporate the weapon as the uh exhaust i think that's pretty cool that's the Hasbro one. Then you got the Hinkei. Says a different kind of a shade of orange and everything. Chrome and all that stuff. You know, they did show a little more love. Uh, the Takar did back in the day. So, really nicely done. I love the chrome. The chrome weapon looks really good. Once again, overall, a nice mold. I like it. You know, I like it for classics. Now, Earthrise. I really, really like Earthrise. Man, I love the car mode. It is freaking sweet. I love that blue and the silver underneath of it looks really just, it just pops. I love that. With the yellow, it looks really good. Uh, transformation is real easy. Shouldn't take you too long to figure it out. The, uh, um, you know, the bot mode looks really good, like a little homage to the uh, G1 with the little side thing, you know, the shoulder things, shoulder missile launchers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it doesn't come with a weapon. I mean, he does come with that, but I mean, I guess you consider that as a weapon. Uh, but I gave him one of the, a little add-on kit. I think it used to be Ironhide, I think. I think it goes well and everything. It looks good. Uh, articulation, really good, like, as always. They're always good. Paint is real good. Um, different kind of yellow on it. You know, it's got a little darker yellow than what the plastic is. But overall, the paint is really good. But I love that blue. And it's fun. It's a fun figure. I mean, it's really, you know, Sunstreaker don't get a lot of love. I mean, it's, I had to scrape up these three just to get something. Um, I do have the Combiner Wars and everything, but as far as Chug, you know, he hasn't really gotten a lot of love. So, you know, it'd be, it's got, I'm glad that they, he finally got a, his uh, own figure in uh, Earthrise and the Wharf Cybertron and everything because this is freaking awesome. This is a must get. If you love Chug, if you love uh, Siege, Earthrise, all that stuff, you need to get this guy. If you love Sunstreaker, Shout out to Kato, as always. He's a big Sunstreaker fan. But yeah, that's a great figure. I love it. So overall, had a great time. Hope you liked it. Hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. And I guess I'll see you on the next uh, Versus. I think I'm going to do Blue Streak next. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro. And good night, folks.